Okay there, chemistry kids. Um, I have something on the whiteboard here that's going to go hand in hand with what we're going to do for lab. And you can see up top there is this, well, neutralization reaction in which we have a classic acid base going on. And we're not necessarily measuring pH this time, but we are measuring the delta H, the heat of reaction. And so we're going to take known quantities of sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid equal 100 milliliter quantities. And you might be able to see that in my lovely picture there. 100 milliliters of each. They're both going to be put into a coffee cup calorimeter, which I'll demonstrate in a moment, which is essentially just a coffee cup. Um, you take identical quantities of each of them because it's a one-to-one -one ratio between the two in the balanced equation. We're going to find the initial temperature of each of them separately and then the final temperature after the two are mixed together and stirred appropriately and you should be able to find out then the heat that this reaction went through. Once we know the heat that the coffee cup is holding using Q equals MC delta T, we can divide by moles and once we've done that we should have, well, the heat of reaction. Let me show you a little bit about how this apparatus is going to operate. All right, ah, here it is. Two Florence flasks, two graduated cylinders, and my coffee cup calorimeter. I've got a thermometer here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure 100 milliliters of base. 100 milliliters of acid. And so I'm going to have two containers, each of which have 100 milliliters. I'm going to make sure I measure to the bottom of the meniscus. And then I'm going to take my thermometer and I'm going to find the temperature of my solution. A thermometer might take a couple minutes, one or two, to come to temperature so that you know the temperature of both the acid and the base. Once you know the initial temperature of each, you're going to mix the two in my coffee cup calorimeter. I then will use the same thermometer and I'll stir it around a little bit. And by stirring it around a little bit, I will allow the reaction to happen. The temperature should go up and it will reach an ultimate high temperature. It's going to go up, up, and it'll probably plateau. If it starts going down, that means you've reached the point where your reaction is complete. At that point, you should know the total volume of solution, which is the sum of the two of these. You should also know the final in the initial temperature, and what was created in this situation was water. And so we should be able to do something using this equation, U equals MC delta T. And your mass should be the sum of the two solutions, because the density of water is one. The specific heat is for water, which is a known quantity, 4.18, and the change in temperature will be the final, the, the final minus the initial in the reaction that we carried out. Now we're going to carry out multiple reactions, this being one of them. However, the concept will be similar. You're going to take two known quantities, you're going to combine them, and then you're going to have an initial and a final temperature. You're going to do this experiment two times, and then we're going to deal with other acids and bases and find the heat of neutralization for each of those.